Welcome. My name is John Brunswick, and in this episode, we're going to explore clienteling, specifically for a luxury automotive brand. You see, they want to radically differentiate themselves from competition. So they've chosen to leverage Salesforce sales, service, and marketing, and channel the customer experience through a highly personalized application. In our example, our protagonist, Mr. Dino Force, is going to be going in to pick up a car he's just had service on. But the app does so much more. It includes concierge services tailored to his interests and needs. In addition to that, he can explore the showroom based on eye beacons and proximity. All of this in an effort to create deep engagement. Now, the app took about a week to build, and without further ado, let's join Mr. Force as he heads into the showroom. All right, so we're finally in the showroom. I'm going to take on the role of Mr. Force. So a moment ago, we walked by Sandra's service. And when we did, based on our proximity with the app to the service desk, she was able to see key details about me. I'm going to recreate the same process here just so we can see it one more time. I'm go ahead and open the application. And you'll see here that the client partner dashboard pulls up all of my key details. Things like the cars I own, things about our relationship history, in addition to important things like my credit limit. Now, as I'm waiting, I could go ahead and take a look at my collection of cars. You see, my collection is actually a bunch of force.com objects. And if I go ahead and tap into my Pagani, it pulls up things beyond just the regular essentials. The mileage here could actually be provided by telemetry information coming from the vehicle itself. And a little bit further down, I can see some service history and it looks like they still need two more days to finalize the audio revamp. I'm getting my car washed and I still have a moment more to kill. So I'm gonna hop into an area called Stratos. Stratos is the concierge capability. And if I tap on fine dining, you know, I haven't been to a good restaurant in a while. We can see that in real time, behind the scenes, my relation history is updating. If I wanted to, I could tap on book now to reach out to Sarah's service, who would automatically take care of booking my reservation. I'm going to close this out. And as I'm killing a little bit more time, I'm really interested in the showroom concept. I pull up the showroom and it says explore and walk near an automobile for the full experience. Let me just go ahead and, based on the very limited floor space within our showroom, I set the beacons to very tight proximity. and walk over to one of the beacons. And this beacon, we're gonna have to use our imagination, is actually a Pagani. So imagine a Pagani sitting right here. And it's amazing, the video display pulls up pictures of the Pagani. And in the app, I can actually thumb through different areas about the car itself. I'm getting rich details right within the app. I don't have to do anything special here. Now, you know what? There's a beautiful Ferrari over there. Again, use our imagination. I'm gonna walk over to the Ferrari for a moment and let's see what changes. And you'll notice again, everything is updating real time within the clienteling app. Nice, okay, so we've got the Ferrari up. And there's something special within the app though. Again, I can read all the details about performance and the interior. But there's also a play video button. I did all that from the app. I'm engaging in a rich experience here. And now in an ideal world, I'd love to have the big wall behind me be an entire video display. The really cool thing is that came up in the client telling app as well. And so did a special exclusive offer. And you know what? I just got a push notification about the offer. It says here, exclusive invite, black tie event, the Ferrari experience. You know what? That sounds great. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm. And we notice that in the history, shows that I signed up for the event. So 
With all the glitz and glamour going on here, what, what did the systems do behind the scenes? So let's take a moment to go into Salesforce's admin uh, UI and actually take a look at how all of this was tracked and dealt with. So we've seen Mr. Force's experience firsthand. Now, let's dive behind the scenes and look at how we were storing all that information and what we can do with it. If we click on Mr. Force and scroll down, we could see there's a custom object called Interactions. And this has actually tracked everything that he was doing within the showroom. By looking at the full list, we can get a sense of what he likes and doesn't like. We could see here, that he looked at the Pagani in the showroom, but never watched the video. Whereas for the Ferrari, not only did he watch the video, but he ended up accepting a special invitation that we pushed to him based on that behavior. Now, all of this information here, we can report on and sift through to again, try to create the most engaging experience. We wanna give people information that they're excited about, things that they're passionate about. Scrolling down a little bit further, we could see another custom object for automobiles. All the cars that we saw in the app and the clienteling app, all of that was driven from this. In addition to the related cases, and if we go to the very bottom, the campaign history, that's actually based on him confirming that invite that he got through the push notification. So overall, this app took about a week to build. And Honestly, imagination is really the limit here beyond just the time because for things like the beacons, we could do something so much more engaging. We could have more discovery. We could have social sharing for friends with like interests. Um, this is just the start of something that can help create that radically differentiating experience.